During the period December 12th to 18th, a total of 66 road accidents have been reported by the Royal Grenada Police Force Traffic Department. That's according to Head of the Department Superintendent Randy Connett. This, the officer says, needs to be addressed urgently. The period 18th to the 17th, sorry, to the 19th, which is just the weekend period, we had a total of 43 accidents. And, and this is by no means uh, an acceptable figure. Um, and part of the reasons for these accidents, as our investigations have revealed, most of those are as a result of distractions, or persons just not taking into account that our roadways have become even more congested because of the influx of vehicles that you would find on the public roadway on a daily basis. Just today, just at the period of speaking to here, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon, and we have had a total of 10 accidents island-wide. Um, this would just give you an indication as to how our accidents progress. Um, this would be an acceptable daily figure. So Superintendent Connor says what people must understand is that so many accidents put an extra strain on the healthcare system and also reflects a negative image of the country regarding road safety. I say the traffic department has beefed up its operations and we are more visible on the public roadway taking into consideration that we are into the Yuletide operations. Um, we have increased our traffic checks, our um, speed radar checks by way of the use of our Doppler radar guns, and obviously monitoring some of the major activities taking place in and around the island, where there would be the temptation for one to drive while being under the influence of alcohol. Our operations have been going smoothly thus far, but I must say we are extremely worried about the spate of road accidents. The officer highlighted what he believes is noteworthy during the past week. And what was noticeable for the past week also is accidents involving cyclists. I could just off my head account for two and where the cyclists um, would have fell. Um, excessive speed may have been a contributing factor from all indications, but we do want to appeal to motorists, cyclists alike, to exercise that level of care and caution while operating a vehicle on the public roadway. We have each an individual responsibility for our own personal care and for the care of other persons on the public roadway, pedestrians also included. Acting on last Wednesday's accident on the Maurice Bishop Highway, the officer says it remains under full investigation. While the individual remains warded at the General Hospital, Superintendent Connett says he is hopeful that there will be a reduction in accidents for the remainder of the Christmas season. The officer begs the motoring public to exercise a due diligence while driving on the nation's roads, being mindful also of pedestrians. Meanwhile, GBN has been informed that a comprehensive report will be given on the death of a mechanic. Unconfirmed reports say died after a vehicle he was working on fell on him. GBN will bring you this report as the information comes to hand. Christina John, GBN News.